Wow. Yes. <laughs> You're so cool. We were supposed to leave like five days ago and here we are. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. This is a big day. The reason this is a big day is because it's our open house today. It's our open house today, not our open house, our open house. So we're, we're throwing a little party tonight and uh, giving tours of the bus, letting everybody that's local to us come and check it out and kind of hang out. It's also kind of a farewell for us because this week we hope to uh, hit rubber to the road and get going on this thing. So I'm excited. We're gonna be doing a lot of things today to kind of get ready. We're doing some details as you can see, uh, starting to get this thing uh, looking like somebody lives in it. So I'm super stoked. We'll show you some of the things we're working on and a little bit of the party and the good times and uh, should be fun. Here we go. Are we ready for this open house? No. <laughs> Are we gonna be ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. I don't know. We still got a lot to do. It's noon. We have seven hours. We'll make it? Yeah. Well, you keep cleaning windows then. Should have tinted before we built. Yeah, that's on my list of mistakes. I'm gonna do a video of our 10 top mistakes. Top 10? Top 10. And not tinting windows before construction is gonna be one of them. Because then you'll end up looking like this. And you'll regret it and swear. And swear. No, we wouldn't swear. No. Not swear. So we're all ready for the open house. New t-shirts. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Lots of people are coming to see the bus. Oh, so the open house is over. Addison, <gasps> nice t-shirt. Let's see. Yay! How many people do you think we had come through this bus tonight? There was a lot of people that came through this bus and it's still in one piece. And now we are going to bed because we are tired. And we're gonna sleep in our beautiful home. Yeah, we're gonna sleep in our bus. Woo woo! Woo woo! Why aren't you in bed yet? Um, I don't know. What are you guys bagging up? Uh, peat moss. Svan Viva Peat. Svan Viva Peat moss. Why? Um, to go on our toilet so it turns our poop into dust. <laughs> so it dustifies our poop? Svan Yeah. Svan nice. You, uh, you know, how many bags do you have there? A 22. Oh, yeah, 22. 22? Mm -hmm. And you're maybe halfway done with this thing? Do you want to say, uh, do you want to say anything about the aiming tips they, they gave you on the website to make sure you get the right aiming? No. No? You don't want to I'll say it. it. Um, even no, no. men have to sit on the toilet even when they're going pee because they have to aim in the right hole. Oh, yep. Uh -huh. The toilet separates the duty and the pee pee. <laughs> Boom! Did you get it? Yeah, I got it! I don't think I got it. Oh, what? Yes! <laughs> You're so cool! 
popcorn all over me. <laughs> so we're moving into the bus and we didn't realize that it was gonna be like furnishing a home because everything needs to be small, everything needs to be compact and different than what we already had. <laughs> so we are shopping for kitchen supplies and utensils and organizers because we all need them in mini size. A lot of things we didn't realize we were gonna need. What are you trying to get out of me here? How happy are you to be here right now? None happy. <laughs> How happy? None. None happy? None happy. Shopping with these two. It's insane. Alright guys, this moving in thing is no joke. It's like pretty stressful. <laughs> I thought we had downsized really well and then we started moving our stuff into the bus and we got it like downsized by like more than half again and it's stressing me out, stressing Katie out. I kind of thought this would be a fun process and <laughs> so far it just hasn't been that, I, we just need to make it fun. But man, this, this is no joke. Like moving in is kind of crazy, trying to figure out where you're putting everything. We're still trying to finish up a few little things on the bus. I'm putting on safety catches that look stupid but have to be on there because the, the drawers will open and the fridge doors will open while we're driving. Um, I just feel like, oh man, it's not to be a downer, but man, this, <laughs> this move-in process has been much more emotional and much more difficult than I thought it was going to be, honestly. And um, sometimes in like the weaker parts of the day and the night, I think in my mind, why are we doing this? Um, obviously I know why we're doing this and I'm happy we're doing it and I'm stoked for the adventure. It's just this is like, we were supposed to leave like five days ago and here we are. We're still finishing up punch list stuff. We're still trying to figure out where all of our stuff goes and uh, just wishing we were on the road. Anyway, it'll get better. So I was just recording a video talking about how I thought this process would be fun. Which process? The moving in process mm -hmm. and easy. Mm -hmm. How's it for you? Exhausting and stressful. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? Chips in my mouth. You have chips in your mouth? <laughs> should we just stay? Stay. I don't think we should stay. Just calm. Stay. stay calm and pack on. <laughs> really though? I don't know. It's hard to... I mean, we whittled down to this spot, living in the basement. Yeah. Now we're cutting in half again. And half again. That's what I just said. I thought we had significantly downsized <sighs> to move into the basement. I mean, we took like 13 loads, van loads of crap to Goodwill. I think we can make it fun <laughs> and change our attitudes or should we just get be mad and get through it? Mad. Always just be mad. <laughs> Cast it up for the first time. Wait, I missed that. How did you miss that? It wasn't going, it was supposed to be. It, it was supposed to be. Look at that, there's a chain. We have, we have a chain. Hey, so there's a $100 limit. So I talked to the lady. Yeah. She's <laughs> she's going to just free up the system. Oh. So we can just go. As our going away gift, our friends are buying our gas. Yeah. That is the sweetest thing ever. They really want us out of here. Oh, shoot. The yep. green one, right? Diesel, right? Is it the green one? Green one. Alright, let's see how it goes. Hey, we'll be here for about 40 minutes. Oh, this is going to take a while. Let's go make a sandwich. Let's go make some sandwiches and get some ice cream. Okay. Talk to you, Scott. 
Apparently when you're filling up a bus, they put on a movie for you. Try Rocky Morgan. <laughs> How do you feel about this purchase, Rob? I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> it still sounds empty in there. <laughs> All right, we're done. I think that's it. I was told when I bought this bus that it was a 150 gallon tank. And clearly, it was on empty. And it's only 86 gallons. All right, so there's the verdict. 86 gallons, I mean, this thing was, I thought it was pretty much bone dry. So 283 bucks, that'll get us about 15 miles or so. That is so cool. Let's do it. It's teeth brushing time. Whoa, whoa. Our first teeth brushing all gathered around the kitchen sink. <laughs> How is it? Does it feel good to brush your teeth inside the bus? Yeah. Hey, you can breakfast in the bus? You can breakfast in the bus. For the first time? First time. What are we cooking? Scrambled eggs with peppers. Allison's having cereal. Addison. What are you doing? Washing the dishes. Washing the dishes for the first time? Yeah. How is it? It's fun. It's fun? Yeah. Is it hard? No. There's not very much space. Yeah, that part's hard. <laughs> doing a good job though. Thank you. Got our sink. Got our dishwasher. I'm sure glad we bought this dishwasher. Me too. How much? Dad, how much we, was it? Uh, I don't know how much she was. It's cost us a lot over the years. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm doing 50 cents per wash. Oh, we're not paying you. But you didn't buy me. <laughs> my friends well it's been a crazy busy week and we're still not gone we are still <laughs> at home uh, we're still trying to wrap up some things with the Jeep and just a couple of things with the bus I mean this is insane we thought we'd be gone two weeks ago and now we pushed it back a week and now it's another week but anyway the open house was amazing it's been fun we are fully moved into the bus and living in it we're just living in it on the side yard of Casey, Katie's parents until we're ready to go. Today, we took what I call a sanity hike or a sanity adventure. I've been really dying to get out. I mean, just not being gone yet has been killing me. So this morning we took a hike out to a place called Horsetail Falls. And it's about a two and a half hike, two and a half mile hike in and uh, you come to these incredible waterfalls. This is breathing for me. All right, my friends, that's it. Uh, it's been a crazy week. Uh, it's been a good week. Hopefully next week's video, we'll be on the road and we'll be starting, you'll be see us take off. Uh, but this week, in the comments, tell me if you were building a school bus and about to take off, if you were building out a schoolie, where would be the very first place you would drive to? You have total freedom, gas is not an issue. Tell me in the comments, where would you go? I want to hear. And we'll see you next week. Remember, love always, adventure often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. 
make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often. Thank you.